a frightening sight from the outside, even more so from the inside. And after I saw the roof of the, the building next to my street, going in the air and hurting uh, and hitting our, our building. Three days after two tornadoes touched down in the Ottawa Gatineau area, many remain homeless. Although no one was killed, the damage is extensive and it will take more time to clean up. Many memories remain in the rubble. This is what 265 kilometer an hour winds can do. Friday's tornadoes obliterated homes and apartments in both Ottawa and Gatineau. Jean Langlais says before the tornado hit his Gatineau apartment building, the fire alarm went off, confusing many residents. I saw a lot of people going outside and see the 2 by 4 like that. Mm. Out of the 215 houses originally deemed unsafe in Gatineau, 153 have been deemed safe enough to return to. But not this apartment building. Langlais says despite all the help, he still doesn't know where the local shelter moved to. It was at the Cégep, which is close from here. But the problem, they relocated yesterday because some people had to, to go to school today. And I, I don't even know where it is. Meanwhile, across the Ottawa River in Dunrobin, Ontario, officials were updating residents and reporters on the devastation there. Out of the 53 home, half of them could be salvaged, the other half unfortunately got to be rebuilt. Dozens of volunteers and hydro workers are trying to get power back to the homes that can be salvaged. We met this morning with Hydro One. Hydro Ottawa, which is on the other side of the street, have done their work. Hydro One, as you can see behind what they're doing, and they said that by the end of the day we should have the electricity back on. Many of these buildings will have to be torn down, forcing residents to start over. Many expect the cleanup to take months, even years. In Gatineau, Quebec, Nigel Newlove, City News.